Protesters are trying to give people an idea of what a world without immigrants would be like. The campaign is encouraging immigrants to stay home from work and not buy or sell products. Seems like Bobcats have a lot of plans for spring break this year. While many are hitting the beach, others are choosing to relax by the river and soak up sun. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jasmine Clark. In a poll designed to gauge what the public thinks of President Trump and the media, 78% of Republicans said they put more trust in Trump when it came to important issues. Meanwhile, Democrats have a contrasting viewpoint. 85% of Democrats stated they trusted the media more than the president. The Center for Texas Music History features Texas Music History Unplugged. It offers musicians an opportunity to discuss the many influences behind their work and students benefit from being exposed to the different cultures associated with Texas music. And most of them end up talking about what it's like growing up in Texas with all these different cultures, you know, uh, different ethnic groups and all the different influences that kind of come, come together to make the music scene here, you know, as diverse as it is. There's some nice music in maybe learn a little bit too about the history and the culture of the state. Tex-Ex music to us is more um, Tejano, that's what I think, yeah. that's what I think of. And, uh, we're more traditional Mexican music merged with rock, rock. and country. And and all so. the elements that we grew up with. Dr. Hartman says the event has a different theme each year. We have had country music and blues and uh, conjunto and Tejano and uh, we have had uh, we've had rap. The Morales sisters say the music of their childhood influenced their Mexican-American spin on music. We were writing separately mm -hmm. and, and, and infusing some things like that into our music and then when the we got sound. together it just seemed like a natural thing to go back actually to the beginning, to the very roots of it. And then as we did that then we started writing and it just evolved into what it is now. Dr. Hartman says the center's educational mission will continue, as will the celebration of Texas music history. Texas is home to many notable musicians, such as the queen of Tejano music, Selena. At this year's Texas Music History Unplugged, Bobcats are celebrating the roots of Tex-Mex music. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jasmine Clark. Some students are planning to skip the beach and focus on spending time with family. I'll be going back to Atlanta, Georgia for a couple days and then to Washington, D.C. We're going to go to the African American uh, Museum that just opened and we are also going to try to tour the White House and just take in the sights of D.C. Others aren't as lucky because they have to accommodate work. I work for a company in Austin, a construction company. Um, now if we have a job in San Marcos, I'll be down here or in Austin or San Antonio because we kind of work all over. But uh, I really won't know where they send me until they send me there, but I'll be working. Some San Marcos hotspots are expecting to see an increase in traffic. We have lines of like 15, 20 people at a time, and we have two to three people in the trailer working with us. So we definitely get a lot of people, and a lot of people coming from like the river, all different kind of stuff. Even people from New Braunfels travel all the way down here just to get snow cones. Others are planning an eventful week during their vacations. Corpus Christi and um, go down to the beach there because I have grandparents that have a house down there. Um, so spend time with family, uh, a lot of baseball, it's my favorite thing, and then the beach. While many plan to head to Austin for South by Southwest, a major hot spot here in town still remains the river. 